I completed reading chapter one of uh, Abbott Understanding Analysis. Uh, I have not done any problems yet. Uh, this book is incredibly well written. Uh, quite the contrast to a lot of other books that I've uh, either attempted to read, read parts of, or read completely in mathematics by now. Uh, yeah, uh, reading Abbott is a lot like talking to Abbott over a beer. Yeah, definitely. He's, uh, yeah, Abbott is clearly an excellent, excellent writer. And uh, I wish he would write many more analysis books. He's a Middlebury College. I looked him up. So, um, I think this will be the first uh, video for this uh, book. So, I'll talk about the book a little more. Um, there are vi there are there's a course that uses this this book, and I'll find the link because I have it in one of my vid in one of my videos. So he goes through the real numbers sequences, but he does topology chapter three, unlike Rudin, which just said in chapter two. These are flipped uh, when compared to to uh, to Rudin, baby Rudin. Then continuity, your standard fare, derivative, sequences and series of functions, Riemann integral, and additional topics. I've already covered the construction of R from Q because I, I attempted to read it uh, back when I was reading Mendelssohn. So uh, now one thing, there are many subjects, and I'm, I shouldn't say many, but there are some subjects that are missing or not treated in depth in this book that are found in some of the other analysis books that I'm reading. And this book will be the final one for when I'm reading all the different chapters in all these books that I'm reading to understand Baby Rudin. It's the last one. So once I reach uh, this book, that's when the cycle of doing all the problem sets that I have not done begins. So by next week, I should be mostly working on problems, even though I'll still be busting my head uh, with uh, Conway's points of topology book every now and then. But I'm going to be focusing on the theorems. So I've already gone through and uh, looked at all the theorems that match chapter one of Baby Rudin and found them in all these books and have already started writing what I call the canonical proofs for some of the major theorems and some of the major definitions also laid out. So in this case, one thing that I wanted to mention is uh, it's unfortunate that, uh, that Abbott, if I say Conway in this entire video, I mean Abbott. Sorry about that. This is about the most beautiful way to describe the field ax axioms without actually saying them, without actually stating them. Uh, so anyways, uh, if you ever get this book, you, I think when you get to page three, you will enjoy it. Although I would have rather have seen the full field axioms, but you know, I have other books that has it, that has them. Uh, so I'll just go, I'll just go to my notes. But yeah, the book reads great, really. Uh, I'm not sure why I have a ruling in here. So, um, so yeah, very brief notes. Because by the time I get to Abbott, I've already read the same concept three or four times. And so I'll either write it out because it's done in a different way that I like, or just to remind myself. If I don't remember from off the top of my head what Abbott is mentioning, then I'll write notes for it. But in some cases, I'll, I'll just make like a little summary and then just keep going. Uh, I really liked a lot uh, Abbott's definition of uh, the, the proof of density of Q and R. This is really, really well explained. Yeah. Yeah, and also the, uh, the existence of square roots, also done in a way that's very understandable. Uh, yeah, cardinality comparisons between N and Z, really well done. Uh, again, just a, a master writer, and I only wish this book uh, was, you know, multiple volumes covering everything under the sun. I wish he had an R to the end book. So that is the end of chapter one for Abbott, and just briefly, just I'll show where I'm going next, uh, which is just coming up with basic layouts for all the theorems, the major theorems. Uh, numbering them so that I can start practicing uh, about being able to master these theorems. I would like to master them by heart. I'm not sure that I've, I'll be able to. Uh, 